Now that you know how to create a Fallon set, what can you do with it? Well, just about everything in FileMaker is bound by the current Fallon set. If you sort, you're sorting the current Fallon set, not the records outside the Fallon set. When you're exporting, those are the only records that get exported. When you print, the same thing. You only print what you see in the Fallon set. So just about everything is bound by that Fallon set. There's a couple of exceptions, but we're not ready for that right now. And since this template doesn't come with a print layout, let's create one so we can demonstrate how you can print just the found set. Print and data entry layouts are different because they have different dimensions. Think about a piece of paper versus the screen. They have different fonts usually. Usually you use on-screen fonts versus print fonts. And then this layout that we're looking at right now has nice graphics on it, but you don't need that on a print layout. So I usually separate them. It's best to do that. So we went into browse mode. That's where we do data entry. We went to find mode. Now we're going to go to layout mode. And layout mode's a lot like a drawing program. Just think of that. If you've ever used a drawing, not a painting program, but a drawing program, you can click on objects and move them around and double click on them and edit them. What we're going to do is create a brand new layout here. So you just go up to the layouts menu and choose new layout. And it's going to ask you a lot of questions. You pretty much don't have to mess around with the basic template with this show records from. There's no other choices anyhow. What you do want to do is say, you know, maybe print contacts. That might be a good name. And then we've got to choose whether we want to do, you know, what type of layout we want to do. Now we could go for printer, but it doesn't really give us the choices we want. I usually go for computer and then choose list. And you see how it gives it that same look and feel. It's called Tranquil Theme. You can change your themes up here by clicking. And what I do with the print layout is go with Minimalist. That's because there's no graphics. It's black and white. It's perfect. Click OK. You see the theme changes. So it's very easy to make different interfaces in FileMaker. And when you're doing a print layout, you don't want any interface. Now, the first thing you should look at on a layout is you have a header, a body, and a footer. Now, there's lots of different kinds of parts. And those are more intermediate to advanced. But your basic ones are your header, your body, and your footer. And just think of it like a word processor. You know what a header is. It's at the top of every page. Footer is at the bottom of every page. What the body represents is each record. So we're going to put in here the fields that we want to print out on our contact list. In fact, let's get the text tool first. And we'll say contact list. Pretty easy, right? You just click on there, click there, and type. Now you've got a little text block here. And the font's not quite big enough, so I'm going to come over here and choose 18 point. Move it up there. That looks pretty good. And perfect. Easy to do. You can underline if you want. You have all the control over the, the fonts and things that you want here. The next thing we're going to do is grab the field tool. But before we do that, look, you have a line tool, a rectangle tool, and you click down. You can change it to different types here. These tools in between are fairly complicated. We're not going to go over them right now. They're very useful, but complicated. We're going to skip right over to the field tool. And you can see when you hover over, it says drag. So you can drag your field right in there. I like to match it up. See how it matches up with that little blue line there when you get to the right spot? And I'll come in here and say, OK, well, I want the first name. And then we can come over and decide if that's big enough. Then we can drag in our last name. That looks good. Make that a little bit bigger. And what we should do before we continue going on is where's the end of the page? Well, the a lot of ways to see what it looks like, but I like to put in the page breaks. Now you can see the page breaks right there. Now that's dependent on what your page setup or print setup is set at. Right now we have ours set at the regular US letter and orientation portrait. But that break would change depending on what type of paper you chose and what orientation. And probably one more thing would be good. And here let's put it's a contact list. So let's put the phone number. And you notice how when I get close enough it puts the tells it that it's an even amount of space between these. Really nice little features for lining stuff up. So we'll go with our office phone here. Make it a little bit bigger. And you can add more fields if you want, but I'm going to stop there and stick with that. So here's our print layout. Very easy to do. If you want to make it so that there's less space between each record, what you do is you can highlight these. I just drew a, a highlight rectangle around them. 
use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move them up and then tighten the space up. You see how you can grab the body part and make it a little bit smaller? That'll make less space between each record in the list view. So we can take a look at it. If we go to browse mode, you can see we have all those and you can kind of see, okay, that looks pretty good. I like that. That'll print out perfectly. So when you want to print, what you're going to do is go to the file menu and choose print. Now, the only thing you really need to worry about for the most part in here is whether you have records being browsed or current record. If you choose current record, it's only going to print one record despite what your found set is. So, a lot of times people print current record or they'll go to blank record and they'll forget and then they'll say, why is it not printing correctly? Why are they only getting one record? Remember, you want records being browsed most of the time. I'm not going to print it, but you'd normally print here and that would get it a printout for you. Now, you can also go into your other mode which is preview mode and see what it looks like when it prints out and you can walk through now this doesn't go through records here it goes through pages that you're printing so that gives you an idea of what's going to look like so we'll go back into layout mode I'm going to come over here and go to my layout menu and choose manage layouts and I'm going to put this layout up inside the desktop right here print contact so it's in the same folder as that that way when we go over here to select them, we can move between the different layouts. So it's not too difficult, and remember, whatever you do in this layout, if I do a find, if I come in here and type in, let's say, O, and perform that find, I find three records. If I go over to my contact detail, I still have three records, and if I move over to my print layout, it still has three records. It keeps that found set across all the different views or layouts for you so you can make sure that you print out exactly what you want because you're not going to be doing the find from this layout. This is just the print layout. Normally you just come here to print. You don't do any kind of work data entry here at all.